Putting love into action. Thoughts on forgiving, revenge, and living in humility by Bethany Haw. Romans chapter 12 verses 14 through 21. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. The famous author C.S. Lewis once said, Everyone says forgiveness is a lovely idea until they have something to forgive. In these verses from the Book of Romans, Paul emphasizes the importance of living at peace with everyone around us and avoiding the temptation of revenge. Whenever someone hurts us, we are given an opportunity to live as Jesus lived. Those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. John chapter 2 verse 6 it is not our responsibility to heap vengeance on others. When someone hurts us or commits a wrong against us, it is not our job to seek revenge. For the Lord tells us, It is mine to avenge, I will repay. Don't get angry, but instead calm down and bless the person that has hurt you. This is your chance to do right in the eye of wrong. When someone treats you poorly, treat them with love. I invite you to do this in your lives every day. Start now if you haven't already. Refuse to take revenge. Make a point of avo avoiding grudges and feuds. Consciously turn over your anger and desire for revenge to God. If a family member or friend picks a fight with you or says something that hurts you, don't repay them with more evil. This doesn't mean you have to be passive, but quite the opposite. You need to actively pray for this person. It is an opportunity for you to generate love and grace in a situation where there was none. Try and think of grace as undeserved favor. By giving our enemies grace, we do not excuse them from their wrongdoing. We recognize them, we forgive them, and we love them in spite of their sins just as Jesus did for us. Trust that God will do out vengeance for you. Focus on creating love where before there was hurt. It's not too late to make up for past wrongs. Is there anyone you need to contact to ask for their forgiveness? Is there anyone you need to offer an act of kindness to? Is there anyone you need to give a special blessing? Decide to do it now. Take immediate action to generate grace and love between you and the people who have hurt or criticized you. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Jesus did this for us, and we in turn can do this for others. This podcast was recorded on April 22, 2013 by Bethany Hall for Vision of Joy. It is based on Romans chapter 12, verses 14 through 21.